Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of RCT in the UK. Um, as some of you may know, we split away from our previous channel, so uh, thanks for tuning in and possibly moving over with us. So today we're building the RC Timer S800, it's our cheap build. And when I say it's our cheap build, we're waiting for some speed controllers to finish this thing off and do what we want to do with it. But um, because it's Christmas and we've got some time off, we're not going to wait for the bits. We're going to mismatch speed controllers. Um, the motors are all the same. We're going to see how the KK2 um, handles the difference between some RC Timer 30 amp Simon K speed controllers and some 20 amp RC timer Simon K controllers. So, um, you know, the controller and the firmware is effectively the same, it's only the fact they're 20 amp, not 30 amp. We have got a watts meter, but it's at my house and we can't be bothered to go and get it. So, we're going to put the 20 amps on and see what happens. So, uh, we'll get back to you shortly when we've done some more soldering and we've got something to show you. Thanks. Yeah. Hi, guys, just a quick update. Um, so, what we've done, we've got the bottom plate, obviously put a power lead on, it's quite handy. Um, and we've also just put some little female pigtails on. When we put the speed controllers on, um, they just, they're about a centimetre too short. So what we figured out, rather than cut the bullets off and solder it straight to the board, we'll put these little pigtails on. Um, a, it obviously solves our problem, but more importantly, if we have a speed con failure or we want to change one in the field, we haven't got to take it home, take it apart, desolder, just pull the connectors off. Um, put the new speed con in and off we go. So we've done that. We're now going to re-enter, uh, re <laughs> re-put the bottom plate on the copter. All of the motors and the props and the speed controllers are on. Sorry, I keep looking down at it. Um, and then we should be ready to put the KK2 on. Uh, we've got the power leads for the piezo uh, voltage alarm. Just a little receiver. This has come straight out of a try, so we're going to need to reset it up. And then uh, hopefully we'll get to test fly it within the next sort of half hour to an hour. Yeah. Okay guys, um, the hex is built. We're gonna get ready to go out and maiden it. As you can probably see from behind me, it's now pitch black outside, but um, that seems to be the way all of our builds end. Obviously this isn't a build video, it's just a proof of concept. So uh, without further ado, I don't wanna waffle on forever. Let's just show you her. So um, that is the uh, RCT800. After we've done the flight, um, I'll come back and I'll go through all the individual components what they cost, where to get them from, so you can really see how our budget um, hexa build has gone. So um, we'll see you in a bit. Here in Saint Tropez, we're not in Saint Tropez, it's freezing out there, and we just went to the local garages. We normally go to the local park, but um, frankly, that's a bog. So we went to the uh, garages, glamorous locations. So here she is, as you saw in the video. Um, you saw um, when I took off, you heard it screaming out straight away. We forgot to set the voltage on the KK2, um, so the piezo was immediately going off, telling us something wrong with the battery. So we just quickly landed, pop that off. Not even sure we got off the deck at that point, can't remember. Um, and then had what I would call a successful flight. Once I got it out of the prop wash, it was okay. Um, I think I was over controlling it. Um, the KK, just so you know, um, we factory defaulted it because it's come out of another aircraft. And we did a sensor calibration test and told it it was a hexa and nothing else. So that's as raw as the KK gets. So that's done. Um, we're really happy with that. And I think a little bit of playing around with the board. Um, she's going to be a lovely stable ship. It uh, certainly showed promise right from that first flight. So we'll bring you some more videos probably tomorrow and uh, the next couple of days of setting it up and tuning it. But let's just go through what we've actually got in our hand and the rough cost. So we've got the RC Timer S800 frame um, for £54 it works out. I haven't included delivery in these costs um, so you might need to add sort of 20 quid delivery on all the bits and bobs. Then we've got the motors, they are cheap Hobby King um, SKS series, so they're £10 a corner, so pretty cheap at this, you know, at this level. 
Um, and then the ESCs are RC timers, uh, 30 amps. And you can just see them under there. Um, they've come down in price uh, quite a lot recently as well. So um, we ordered them at the same time we ordered the frame. They're work out about £10 a corner as well now. So, you know, people say, well, the hexes get expensive. We're looking at 20 quid a corner. So it really isn't that expensive. Um, and then the battery, you know, a high 5,000 milliamp high draw battery. You're looking at about £35 from Hobby King UK warehouse. And then the KK2, also from Hobby King, you're looking at about £20. And the um, we haven't actually got a spectrum receiver on here, but talking about from a budget point of view, we could have put an orange receiver on it. I would have happily flown it with an orange receiver on. Obviously, all the parts we're talking about, you could easily upgrade, put nicer motors on it, put nicer props. But this is our budget build. And, um, you know, we'll be able to tell you a little bit more over the next couple of days of how it works out. But I think it's going to fly real well. Um, and then the undercarriage is an eBay special. I'll just let you have a quick look at that. That's um, so it's got a camera platform up front, battery tray, uh, and then it slides forward to muck around with your centre of gravity. Um, didn't really do any work at all trying to make sure that was all centred, let the KK deal with it, and uh, to a certain extent it did very well. Miscellaneous, um, male male leads, a couple of extension leads we've had to use, battery lead. Um, another £10. So unfortunately I'm not prepared enough to have added all of that up. Let me have a quick look in my head. So about £150 she's all in the air for. I think you'll all agree that's exceptional value for a uh, hexacopter. So um, we'll bring you some video shortly. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of uh, RCTV UK. I'm Alan signing out for now. Okay, so uh, those of you that are more astute, my quick maths on the fly didn't really work out. It's actually £180 um, in the air. Uh, as I say, no delivery costs on that. So you're probably looking at 200 quid all up in the air. I think that's pretty exceptional value. All the links to everything will be in the description box below this video. Said Malcolm. <laughs>